So I want to go over math for grade 6 from Bob Jones University. This is the teacher's book. It comes with a CD-ROM that has a bunch of, I mean a bunch, <laughs> of a variety of extra practice, you know, help pages for the student. The student book, and then there are tests and the answer keys for the test. And then they also have um, a little cardstock packet of manipulatives get all of that for around $120. I did not buy the manipulatives because when I asked them what it included, it was things I already had. I did not buy the test. And I'll, I'll tell you what I do for the test instead. Um, so I just bought these two things and I only paid somewhere between $40 and $60 for both of them. I had to buy this new, of course, it's the student book. But the teacher's book, you can see it retails for around $70. <coughs> I just waited and bought this used on eBay. <coughs> so um, I got a really good deal. Okay, so this is the third edition. Alright, and um, the whole theme of this book is rescue. Okay, each chapter has a different type of rescue, but the whole theme is rescue. And Bob Jones is a Christian company. It was made, these books were made for a teacher in an actual big setting classroom. Okay. You can go to bjupresshomeschool.com to find out more. Okay. So this is the contents. Okay. Um, Bob Jones, from what I can understand, from what I asked them directly and read reviews and seen for myself, it, it's like a mastery approach to math, but I don't I don't feel like it's as strong of a solid mastery like Singapore would be. Okay, we used Singapore last year and we just loved it. Um, the reason we quit Singapore was not because we didn't love it. It was because um, it ended at sixth grade and I needed something to, you know, that my kids could do all the way up through high school. So I started looking for another mastery program and found this. And so far, we're, we're really liking it. Okay, so chapter one is about adding and subtracting. And I can't go through each of these lessons. There's just too many. But in chapter one, you may add and subtract whole numbers or decimals, Roman numerals, positive and negative numbers. So the whole thing is on adding and subtracting, but, you know, the type of numbers. You know, it could be whole numbers or decimals or positives, negatives, things like that. Okay. <clears throat> chapter 1 has a Chapter 1 review and a test and um, a 5th grade review. Chapter 2 is about multiplying by a whole number. And you can always pause the video if you want to read these things. Okay, so chapter, there's a Chapter 2 review, a Chapter 2 test, and a cumulative review. So the cumulative review will review everything the student learned in Chapter 2 and Chapter 1. Chapter 3 is about dividing by a whole number. And again, you can see a review, a test, and a cumulative review. 4 is a fraction theory. 5 is add and subtract fractions. Six is plain figure geometry. Seven is multiply fractions and decimals. Eight, divide fractions. Nine, divide decimals. Ten, equations. Eleven, perimeter and area. Twelve, volume. Thirteen, ratios, proportions, and percents. Fourteen, measurements. 15 statistics, 16 probability, 17 integers, and then um, in the back of the teachers you have the answers to some of the problems. Okay, and you have some handbooks. Okay, there's an appendix that tells you where to find certain things, and then the teacher's toolkit CD, it has application pages. Assessment pages, calculator activities, Christian worldview shaping, daily review pages, then the daily review answer keys, fact fun activities, fact reviews, handbook, instructional aids, 
Leading a Child to Christ, Manipulatives, Alternatives, Math Facts, Solutions, Student Text Pages, Answer Key, Symbols and Formulas, and Teaching Visuals. So I have printed out several of the Symbols and Formula pages, Teaching Visuals, um, Instructional Aids, And then the application, the assessment, and the calculator, and the fact reviews and fact fun are all extra practice pages for the student. So here is their approach to teaching. And here's the instructional materials they tell you that you will need. Here it talks about the Christian worldview shaping. Okay, th these two pages explain how to use the teacher's manual. So this is what it would look like, you know, like, like that. And it tells you in these little boxes on how to use each part of the teacher's manual. Here are some review features that they have. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, here are some review features that they have. Some teaching tips. They also help you, they talk about how to schedule your activities. Some possible grading things. Okay, here's the lesson plan overview for chapter one. So here's an overview. Chapter one. An overview of chapter two and chapter three, and it just goes on. Just gonna flip past all that. Okay. So here's chapter one, and I said the whole book has a theme of rescue. So chapter one, its rescue theme is the firefighter. So they actual they actually give a, um, a an article of a real you know fire that happened. Like this one here was about the um, Chicago fire. And then it kind of gives some, um, like, a little humanitarian thing. Um, like, after the fire, you know, contributions poured into Chicago after the fire. Um, giving the city $50 million to spend on rebuilding. So, <clears throat> so here's Chapter 1 Overview again. It tells you each lesson, what it's about, what you're going to learn, and the materials that you will need. And a little bit of extra help to go with Chapter 1 if you're, you know child doesn't get it. <clears throat> okay, so this is what lesson one of the teacher's manual looks like. And you can see these two pages is a reduced copy of the student's book for lesson one. So this is what the students look like. And all this pink writing here, these are the answers. And here it tells you what the objectives are, what you need, some notes, how to introduce the lesson, how to teach the lesson, so it tells you what to say and what to do, all of this. <laughs> now, as I said in the English reviews of Bob Jones that I've just done, <clears throat> when I was reading through here, and, and I, you know, I was kind of like trying to figure out how long this math would take, so I was going through here and kind of doing all this stuff. I was like, if we actually do this, we could take a good 30 minutes just, you know, writing all these problems out that they give you on the board and discussing it. Just that alone could take 30 minutes. And then they give you, like, this lesson has 35 problems for the student. So there's 35 problems. And then there's also a daily review that can have anywhere between um, 5 and 20 problems, maybe more. So far we haven't had any more than 20. You know, so you could have like 35 to 55 total problems, which could take a good hour or more even, plus this, plus sometimes they mention to do like an application page or an assessment page or a calculator page, which would be even more problems. And there was just so much, and I was thinking, it's going to take three hours to do this. So I contacted them and asked them, and they told me not to worry about all of that because that that this was made for a teacher in a big classroom. 
and with multiple students, you know, each student may need a little bit of extra help in a different kind of topic, so the teacher would just pick what that, stu what that particular student needed. And they said that, you know, since I'm a parent and I know where my child's at, just do whatever my child needs. So um, it actually takes us about an hour to an hour and a half to do this math. But, um, you know, but anyway. So it is, it's longer than what our Singapore was. Now, we don't do every single problem. Um, she does only the even numbers on her work. And then also on the daily reviews, she does even numbers. But anyhow. Okay, so this would be lesson two. You can see up here it tells you the student pages and then also the daily review pages. Okay, so I'm just going to flip through some here. This is a new lesson, a new chapter, I mean. Okay, and you can see they're, they're all laid out the same. You have your reduced student text and your teacher stuff here. Okay. That one will be interesting. Okay. Let's see. Okay, in the back, let me find it. Okay, in the back here, they have some solutions. So, like chapter one, all the way through chapter 17. The page numbers back here where you can find the solution. So it gave you the student answer key. But some of the problems require, you know, some drawing to it to help understand it. So chapter one, here are the more difficult answers or they actually you know how to draw pictures and stuff. Okay? And then chapter two. So that's what this section is. And then These are the answers to the daily review pages. So since this is considered a mastery program, they want the child to every day do some review, just, you know, like simple stuff, addition, subtraction, or multiplication, or whatever things that they learned previously, they want them to, you know, do a little section of it each day to review it. So this would be the first review for lesson one. Chapter one and A, and you can see there are 20 problems. And once again, I just have my child just do the even numbers. And this would be the review for the second day, the third, and the fourth, and so on. So that's what that is. And here are some hand here's a handbook. Different stuff like problem solving, measurements. Here are some Bible action truths. And Bible promises, just different stuff. How to manage your manipulatives. Alright, and this is how to use the teacher's toolkit CD. It tells you what it contains, how to get started, you know, how to actually put it in your computer. Mine's on my computer currently. So Now, this is the student's book. Alright, I have not had my child write in this book. Okay. Actually, you know what? I bought this book used. Um, yeah, I bought this book used. So the mom had wrote down the number of lessons she wanted her child to do previously. And her, her son didn't write in this book, and my daughter's not written in this book. So, um, anyhow. This is all her... <laughs> Okay, so here's chapter one, and this is the students, what it looks like. Now, I thought about having my daughter write in this book, you know, and just tear the pages out, but, like right here, for example, the first problem where it says write the number in word form and expanded form, so you have this number here, this is lesson one, you have 421,063,000,000, oh, sorry, like this problem here, for example, you have write the number in word form and expanded form. You have 421,063,987. And 
and to write it in word form and expanded form. So here's an example of word form. See how long that is? And here's an example of expanded form. That's long. There's no way she can write all of that here and then still have room for two and three. You know, those number two and three as well. So when we saw that, I was like, maybe it's not meant to be written in. So um, she's just writing it on notebook paper. And by doing that, I will have this usable for my, my next daughter whenever she's in sixth grade. Okay, so it's each lesson is a two-page spread. Okay, here's chapter one review. And this was grade five review. You can see it says test prep. So they were just reviewing everything that they taught in fifth grade. And each lesson also has a career link. And here is another rescue theme. This was a flood that they had in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania in the 1840s. Okay. This one here I think was about earthquakes, maybe? Yes, earthquakes. Okay, here's how I'm using the test. Okay. So we did not buy the test. So after my daughter does the review and does, you know, decent, um, then the cumulative review, see it says test prep. So basically this is the type of work would, that would be on their test. So we're just using this for our test. And there can be, like, this one has 25 problems. So it's this page, this page, and then this one. So that is what we are doing for the test. Alright. But that is that. Now, let me show you, oh, the students' daily review pages are right here in the back. So, um, like here she had 18 problems for that review, but then again, like I said, I only have her do the even numbers. That way she gets, you know, one or two of each type of problem. Um, there's some more daily reviews. I wanted to show you the handbook. Okay. Here's the handbook. Problem solving. You need to read, analyze, plan, solve, and check. How to add and subtract. Handbook for decimals, and more decimals, and more decimals, and more decimals. Handbook for equations. So all this is doing, this is telling the child, this is a handbook for the child to help them, you know, if they get stuck on how to solve an equation and go back to here and be like, oh, okay, so it's examples, and fractions, more fractions. So that's what this handbook is about. Several pages of it. Okay. So, that is that. And I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.